Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this cute garland. In this project I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook, a 4mm crochet hook, you'll need a tapestry needle and something to cut your yarn with. And I'll be using three different colours of double knitting yarn. We're going to start with the 4mm crochet hook, grab your yarn and make a magic ring or a magic circle. Then chain one and place 10 half double crochets into that magic ring. When you've finished your 10 half double crochets, pull on your tail to secure the ring and we'll be placing a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round but we're not going to finish it, we're going to change a colour. So insert your hook into your first stitch of the round, then take your next colour, I'm using pink. Pull your tail through to finish your slip stitch and then I'm going to make uh, two simple knots with the white working tail and the new short tail of the pink just to hold it. I'm not going to tie, I'm not going to um, sew the ends in on this one, I'm just going to cut them off. And then I'm going to use both white tails to secure the ring tail as well. And then I'm going to cut them off. And round two, chain two, and we're going to make three partially made double crochets into the same stitch. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and repeat that two more times. You're basically making half of the double crochet and then you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull th all, through all four, make a chain and chain one. Next stitch we're going to do the same but four times. So four partially made double crochets into the same stitch. Until we have five loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through all five, chain one to close the petal and then chain one for the gap. I'm going to repeat this second petal all the way around for a total of 10 petals. So it's four partially made double crochets into the same stitch. Pull through all five loops on your hooks, on your hook, sorry. Chain one to secure the petal and then chain one for the gap. When you've finished all your petals, 10 in total, slip stitch into the top of the first petal of the round. Pull your yarn through and cut it off. Now we're going to change colour again. Take your third colour, I'm using sage green and insert your yarn through the first gap after your tail. So I'm going to pull the yarn through and make a chain to hold it and then I'm going to tie those two tails together with a double knot and I'm going to cut the tails off. You are more than welcome to weave your ends in. But I prefer not to because it's going to be against the wall so there's no need. Then chain one. And then we're going to place four single crochets all the way around 
in each gap between the petals but not in the last three gaps so you're going to end, end up with 28 single crochets around so again it's four single crochets in each gap around until you have 28 single crochets and you will be left with three gaps at the end when you go up to the three gaps at the top you should have 28 single crochets four in each gap and we're going to make the pointy bit at the top so in the first gap we're going to make single crochet half double crochet and a double crochet in the second gap we're going to make a double crochet a treble crochet and chain one and then we're going to reverse that so a treble crochet into the same gap still a double crochet and in the last gap we're going to make a double crochet a half double crochet and a single crochet then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round then pull your yarn through and cut a small tail for weaving in I'm going to weave that one in the last one and this is what it should look like now you can make as many as you want depending on the length that you want um, I made 12 because I only had a small wall to use and I wanted a bit of a gap in between them So now we're going to crochet the hanging string using the 2.5mm crochet hook. I found that if I use the smaller hook it doesn't look so bulky and thick. So we're going to start with a slip knot and then I'm going. that's going to be the one side of the outside. So I'm going to chain 25. Obviously you can do it as long or as short as you want with the spaces in between but I'm going to space them out with 25 chains in between. And when you change your 25, find the point where the chain gap is between the treble crochets and make a single crochet. And this is super simple. And then I'm going to chain another 25. And then get my next one and make a single crochet in the chain one gap between the trebles and this is it this is how you connect them you can make your chains in between shorter or you can try it out like this if it's too wide for you make them shorter or make them longer it's up to you and when you get to the end chain the same number of chains that you did right at the beginning so it's the same then pull your yarn through cut a tail off and that's it, you're done. I just tied a little loop on each end just so I can hang it on a nail. And this is it. This is how it looks on my wall. I did this wall last week, so I absolutely love it. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.